what a wonder to celebrate the birth of God as a human being in our world. I like the little reading that we have on our bulletin today. Twas the night before Christmas, Heaven's Version. In these little verses, you get a sense that all of Heaven is watching as the little baby Jesus is born. Born to two weary travelers, Mary and Joseph. Just thankful to have a warm barn to have their baby in. In these verses, and in the more official readings for Christmas, you get a sense that God intentionally blesses the average, everyday person. Even more than all the royal Emperor Augustuses of the world. The awesome glory of the angels and all the hosts of heaven come to the lowly, everyday shepherds in the fields. They might be the guy down the block, they might be your brother or your cousin. They could even be you. Most people own sheep or are part of a sheep, mostly not for meat at that time, but mostly for the warm wool that they produce. So most of the guys would have had a, a turn at caring for the sheep on the mountainside. And it is they who first hear of the Messiah's birth, the birth of God's Son, into the world. Just, just as it is you, today, who hear of the Messiah's birth, God's own Son, into the world. And each of you will receive this news in different ways. Most of us have heard the message before, as you've grown up in the church, as you're driving about town listening to Christmas carols or shopping for a gift for someone. Each of us, each of you, will receive this message at different places in your life. Christmas this year is very different from Christmas last year. And Christmas this year is very different from 10 or 20 years ago. The years have changed, and you have changed. And yet, and yet the message has not changed. God comes into the world to bring God's eternal life and power, to dwell in the world, and to transform the world, to transform your world. The children among us hear that Jesus is going to be with them and protect them as they learn and grow and play into this life. The youth among us begin to know a Jesus who will guide them through the challenges of this life. They are beginning to see that life is more complex than it was when they were a child. And now, they may even be able to sense Jesus as a real presence in their life. A presence and a power to protect them and guide them. And some of us, while some of us are at the other end of life's long or short journey, receive the baby Jesus with the understanding 
that he will guide us into eternity. He has sustained you through all the many challenges and decisions of your journey. And now Jesus is giving you a peace and a hope that are eternal. If you think about those lowly shepherds in the fields, just like the everyday person like, like you are me, and this glorious vision of angels that comes to them, in a similar way, God sends to each of you a vision of God's power and presence in your life. Each of us, each of you, are going through different phases and different things in your life. And it seems to me that this baby Jesus was born for you, each one of you, each one of us. Whatever you are going through, whatever insights you are gaining in your life, whatever struggles, whatever joys, the angels, the messengers of God have come to you to let you know that God loves you personally. The baby Jesus is with you both now and forever. You know, and if you stop for a moment you can sense those angels around you, even now. They are, they are the holy angels of the past, flowing all around you, encouraging you, giving you hope and insight and joy. And there are the holy angels of the present, also flowing together among us. Holy messengers sitting around you this day. And I also believe that there are others with us. Centuries and centuries of the faithful who have sat in pews very much like these singing songs like ours, and sharing in this wondrous birth of Jesus together. The angels remind us of those eternal ones, because they are eternal. And so are you. All because of the birth, the life, death, and resurrection of this baby Jesus.